There are two reasons why this graph is misleading. The first reason is pretty obvious. However, there's also a second reason why this graph doesn't represent the data in a scientific way. If you didn't notice, this graph doesn't have any label for the y-axis. We can't actually understand how much each of these bars on this bar graph represents since there's no y-axis. So that's the first reason. However, there's also a second reason. The angle of the bars on this graph make it look like 1995 is much higher than 1997. This angle skews what the data is actually telling us or representing in this graph. This is what the actual data looks like in a regular bar graph. And you can tell here that 1995 and 1997 are a lot closer than they appeared in that original graph as well as when you compare 1995 to 1998. Here you can see that, yeah, 1995 is probably double or more than 1998, but in this graph, 1995 looks significantly more than just double 1998 since it's at an angle and the bars are more of a 3D shape. If you haven't guessed, this is part of my series of Misleading Graph Mondays. Like always, I'm gonna rate this graph zero being like not that bad and 10 being the worst graph ever. I'd rate this like a, six and a half out of 10.